Welcome back. Raise your hand if you were a little stressed out for the entire WSU game last night. Oh, that's everybody? Yeah, me too. Last night's game is what I would describe as a slog. Not a lot of big plays, but every play felt like it could be one, and that made it really stressful. It wasn't necessarily pretty last night how the Cougs won, but they did it 19-13 over Cal. Just to give you an idea of how much this game didn't feature explosive plays, the longest pass of the day for the Cougs was a 28-yarder before, right before the end of the first half. Obviously, the 19 points was the lowest amount of points Wazoo has scored all season, and the 13 points Cal scored was the lowest amount of points an opponent has scored on Wazoo this year outside of the San Jose State game. I thought it'd be a war, and it was, you know. Um, it came down uh, clear to the end, and uh, I was proud of our guys for sticking in there and finding a way to win when it's tough. And this, you know, this time of year, especially if you play a schedule like we do where you know everybody's good there's there's none of these like uh, quote unquote breather teams that exist in some conferences and um you know we we just uh, we don't have that here it's great it just it just shows what type of team we have like we never give up we never out of the fight we fight till the end four quarters of football and it's just it's just a great feeling i like winning close games cuz we really we really work for it a big point of discussion during and after the game was the refereeing. The Cougs had seven penalties for 80 yards, but five of those penalties gave Cal a fresh set of downs. Probably the most controversial call of the game came towards the end of the first half when Dominic Sevils was ejected for targeting. In his classic Coach Leach way, he played coy with the media last night about his thoughts on the officiating, but uh, you knew what he meant. Well, I can't, I can't talk about... Uh any of the calls you guys will have to speak for those that are uh, those of us that are silenced um but you saw the game and so uh positive and negative uh, you can address all that plus there were some extenuating circumstances that uh, got them all the way down there you of course can comment on your point of view on those and then uh but it was good to take what would take it away from them and now let's turn our attention to Gardner Minshew. In a week where his Heisman stock skyrocketed, Minshew posted un-Minshew-like numbers in the affair last night, going 35 of 51 for 334 yards, one interception, and until the final minute, Minshew hadn't thrown for a touchdown. To be fair, this is a very good Cal defense, and most quarterbacks would kill for the numbers Minshew had last night. He remained positive after the contest. Obviously, we have a standard that's higher than what we played at tonight. Um, but it was great to see, you know, different times of the game. You know, each phase kind of stepped up. You know, special teams made plays, hit some big kicks. Defense made a ton of stops tonight. And then we, we finally came around and scored when we really need to. Oh, it was great, man, because, you, know, you, you know, you really you just poured it all out to the end. And those are the ones that are really rewarding. Um, and, you know, just coming down. You know, it comes down to a couple plays, one or two plays. And uh, when the margin of uh, victory is that small, it makes it really, really sweet.